I made this entire video using AI, and right now, videos like this are going viral. Don't believe me? Check out this page. They're making similar videos and getting millions of views in just a few hours. One of their videos got over 60 million views and more than 3 million likes. They're also gaining tons of followers in just a few days. The best part? You can make videos like this in just a few minutes, and it's super easy to do. But don't wait too long. This niche is still new, and I've only seen a few creators making this kind of content. That means there's a big opportunity for you to get in early and go viral. In this video, I'll show you exactly how I did it, step by step. I'll even share ready-to-use prompts to help you create images just like the ones you've seen. These prompts are flexible, so you can create any kind of movie style you want. And here's the best part. I've got bonus tips at the end to help your videos go viral. So, stick around until the end, alright? The first thing we need to do is create the images. To do that, we'll need prompts. If you're not familiar with prompts, they're basically instructions you give to the AI so it knows exactly what to create for you. To make it simple, we're going to use ChatGPT to help us write these prompts. Here's what you need to do. Join our Discord server and look for the Disney Animation Video Prompt in the Prompts section. If you don't use Discord, you can join our Telegram channel or message me on Instagram and I'll send the prompts to you directly. Once you've got the prompt, open ChatGPT and paste it in. ChatGPT will create a detailed prompt for you, which we'll use to create the images and animation descriptions we'll need later. Now our prompts are ready, let's create the images. For this, we'll use a tool called Fodor. You'll find a link in the description. Click it to head over to the Fodor homepage. Once you're there, sign up for a free account. It's free to get started, so no worries about costs right now. Fodor is a powerful all-in-one AI photo editor. It can edit photos, generate images, and even create videos. It's super easy to use, and the quality of the results is incredible. Now, once you've signed in, find the AI image generator and click on it. This is where we'll create our images. Now, go back to ChatGPT, copy the first prompt you created earlier, and paste it into Fodor's text box. Then, select the aspect ratio you want for your image. You can also decide how many images you want to generate. It only costs one credit per image, so it's affordable. Now, here's the fun part. To make sure your image has that classic Disney cinematic look, you'll need to select the right style. Fodor has many styles to choose from, but for this project, select Cinematic. This style will give your image that polished, movie-like look. Once everything is set, hit Generate and let the AI do the work. In just a few seconds, you'll have a beautiful Disney-style character image. The quality is amazing. Let's try another one. Copy the second prompt, paste it into the text box, and click Generate. Here's the result. Pretty cool, right? Once you've created all your images, it's time to download them. Click on each image and you'll see the download option on the right-hand side. But here's something really cool. If you want to make any changes or improvements to your images, Fodor has some great tools to help you out. Let me show you a few of them. First, there's the AI Upscaler, which lets you improve the image quality. It makes your pictures sharper and more detailed. Then, there's the AI Expand feature. This lets you expand the edges of your image, which is super useful if you need a wider frame. But my favorite is the AI Replacer. This tool lets you add extra details to your image. Here's how it works. Select a part of your image, type what you want to add, like gold coins, and click Generate. The AI will add those gold coins to your image. This is super helpful if you forgot to include something when creating the image earlier. If there's something in your image you don't want, you can remove it using the Magic Eraser tool. Just select the area you want to get rid of, click Generate, and Fodor will clean it up for you. Finally, if you want to make advanced edits, you can click Edit This Photo to add the image to a photo editor and explore even more editing options. All right, now that we've got our images, it's time to animate them. For this, we'll use Fodor's AI Video Generator. Go back to the Fodor dashboard and click on AI Video Generator. There are two ways to create animations here. You can either write a text prompt or you can upload an image. Since we already have our images, we'll use the From Image to Video option. Here's how it works. First, upload your image to the tool. Then, head back to ChatGPT and grab the animation description you created earlier. This description tells the AI exactly what kind of animation you want. Next, select the mode and style for your animation. For now, I'll leave the style as it is, but feel free to explore other styles later. Once everything is ready, click Generate. 
This step costs 10 credits, but trust me, the results are totally worth it. In just a few seconds, your still image will transform into an animated character. Here's the result. This is exactly what we described, and just like with the images, you can edit the videos too. Fodor lets you remove backgrounds, enhance video quality, and even remove unwanted objects from the video. Repeat these steps for all your images. Once you're done, download your videos and save them to your computer. Here are all the animations I've created. They look amazing, right? All right, now that we have all our animations ready, it's time to move on to the next step. This is where we put everything together and polish your video to make it look absolutely professional. For this, we're going to use CapCut, which is a super beginner-friendly editing tool. So first, open CapCut and click on Import Media to bring in your video clips. Once your clips are uploaded, simply drag and drop them onto the timeline at the bottom of the screen. From here, you can rearrange the clips into the correct order by just dragging them around. This is a super important step because you want your video to flow smoothly and tell your story in the right sequence. Next, it's time to add some audio. For example, in my video, I created fun animations of Despicable Me characters dressed as characters of Pirates of the Caribbean. So, to match the theme, I'll be adding non-copyrighted background music and sound effects that go perfectly with the vibe of those movies. To do this, import your audio files into CapCut, then drag the music and sound effects onto the timeline, right below your video clips. Adjust the background music so it syncs perfectly with your animations. Now, let's make your video even more exciting by adding some transitions and effects. CapCut has a ton of built-in transitions that you can use. For example, you can add a fade-in effect at the start of your video or between scenes to make the transitions feel smoother. You can also experiment with other effects to add some extra magic and make your video pop. Now, another way to grab your audience's attention right away is by adding a text overlay at the beginning of your video. CapCut makes this super easy. Just pick one of the text templates, drag it onto your timeline, and place it at the start of your video. Then, use the text editing tools on the right-hand side to customize it. This is your chance to hook your audience right from the start, so make it count. Now let's talk about sound effects. These small details might not seem important at first, but trust me, they make a huge difference in how polished and professional your video feels. CapCut has a built-in library of free sound effects, but you can also upload your own. For example, in one of my clips, my character is running through the ship in the middle of the sea, so I added sound effects of waves and footsteps to make the scene feel more realistic. It's super simple. Just search for the sound you want in CapCut, preview it, and drag it onto the timeline. You can repeat this process for all your clips. Adding sound effects might take a little extra time, but it's totally worth it because it brings your video to life and makes it way more immersive. Once you're happy with all your edits, it's time to export your video. Click on the export button at the top of the screen to save your final video. And here it is, the final result. <laughs> fun, creative, and professional-looking animated video that we created using just one AI tool, Fodor, and some quick editing in CapCut. So don't wait. Click the link in the description to try out Fodor's features for free. And if you're ready to unlock even more advanced tools, you can upgrade your plan. Fodor's premium plans start at just $9 per month, and if you choose the annual plan, you'll save 62%, which brings the cost down to only $3.33 per month. The best part? Fodor is super versatile. You can use it on desktop, mobile apps, available on both Google Play and the App Store, or directly in your web browser. It's an all-in-one tool for all your content creation needs. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more AI tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.